This week we've had some exciting archaeological news. The oldest known tools used for tattooing have been discovered in Tennessee. This kit is significantly older than the toolkit found in Tonga, dating from 2700 BCE. The toolkit in Tonga included needles made from human bones, bone combs and an ink pot. My name is Kaylee and I'm going to tell you everything about this discovery. We know that tattoos have been around for quite a long time, at least a lot longer than most people seem to realize. In fact, the oldest tattoos discovered were found on the body of Utsi the Iceman. Most Europeans may have never heard about Utsi, but Utsi is the mummified body of a man who lived back in 3300 BCE. His body was discovered in 1991 by two German tourists who were hiking on the Finalspitze peak in the Utstal Alps. Researchers had found a total of 61 tattoos on Utsi's body, divided in 19 groups of black lines ranging in thickness and length. A cruciform shaped tattoo was discovered behind the right knee and on the right ankle. The pigment used for these tattoos were manufactured out of fireplace ash. This pigment would have been rubbed into small incisions or punctures. Since the tattoos on Utsi's body were so dark, it is believed that he was tattooed on the same spot more than once. You might wonder, Kaylee, why are you talking about the oldest known tattoos discovered, when in fact this video should be about the oldest known tattoo toolkit discovered? To be honest, it feels kind of weird talking about ancient tattoos and not mentioning Utsi the Ice. The Ice. Utsi the Ice. To me it feels weird not mentioning Utsi. Until we discover an older body sporting some ink, he will stay the oldest, and thus he will play a significant role in ancient tattoos. Then there's the fact that this particular discovery wasn't unearthed last week or last month. This discovery was unearthed in 1985, some six years prior to the discovery of the body of Utsi. During a bridge construction near Nashville, diggers discovered the artifacts in the burial pit of a male at the Fernvale site. Not knowing exactly what the items were for, it was simply dismissed as a toolkit, and for decades it collected dust on the shelf. Collecting dust until an archaeologist came across them and decided he wanted to investigate them to see what the purpose of this toolkit was. Archaeologist Aaron Dieter Wolf from the Tennessee Division of Archaeology was drawn to the toolkit because it resembled a medicine bundle, which could have acted like a portable shrine used by the Native Americans. It might come to no surprise that Dater Wolf is an expert in ancient tattoos as well. In his research into the origins of the toolkit, he teamed up with zoo archaeologist Tanya Perez from the Florida State University. They realized that this toolkit wasn't as simple as was long assumed, but this was an ancient tattoo toolkit. This kit contained turkey bones that were carved and sharpened into needles, pigment-filled shell parts and stone tools. Here you can see the different items laid out on the photo. The turkey bone needles had a specific wear and tear pattern that was identified by archaeologist Christian Gates St. Pierre. St. Pierre had tattooed pigskin with the bone tools in the past to see what kind of marks the process would leave on the tools. Dater Wolf explained, at this point there is no other activity that we are currently aware of that would create the same wear and tear pattern on the bone tools. On the tips of the carved turkey bones they discovered traces of red and black pigment, and even though they discovered the pigment on the tips of the bone needles, they suspect that the shells were used to hold the ink since they were pigment stained as well. In ancient times they would create tattoos by puncturing or incising the skin with a bone needle and then rub the pigment in these punctures or incisions. Unlike nowadays where the ink is being punctured into the skin. The find itself is quite unique, but Radiocarbon dating done on the tools makes this find even more baffling. These bone tattoo needles were carved between 5500 and 3600 years ago, which pushes back the timeline of the practice of tattooing by the ancient Native Americans by at least 1000 years, possibly even 3000 years. As you can see here, Dater Wolf actually tried to recreate Utsi's tattoos by using a bone tool and black ink making 1500 individual punctures on his wrist, and he created a tattoo like the ancient people did. Well, besides the ink that is, since in ancient times they didn't have ink like we have today. Tattoos leave marks in human skin, but human skin deteriorates over time, making it difficult for scholars to understand the significance or scope of tattoos in ancient cultures. It's one of those things that isn't discovered often either, 
only a mummified body with well-preserved skin will still show the existence of tattoos. Perez said, I think there has to be a whole lot more work done on archaic life ways in general, before we can even start to parse the deeper meaning of tattooing in this period. We're still arguing about what they were eating and what kind of houses they were living in, which are more durable things in the archaeological record. Archaeologists have discovered a surprising amount of evidence that the ancient people did frequently tattoo their skin, going at least as far back as the Neolithic times, as Utsi has shown us. In other cultures, they were sometimes created by the use of animal and fish bones, teeth, turtle shells and oysters. Nowadays, getting some ink on your body can mean vastly different things for different people. Some do it as an act of rebellion, a homage, a joke, or some do it to reclaim back their body, like breast cancer survivors have done. Of course, there's a lot more research that needs to be done for us to understand why the ancient civilizations used tattoos and what their significance was. At least Data Wolf is convinced beyond a doubt that they held an important place in the culture of the ancient Native Americans. By the time the European conquerors arrived in the Americas, almost all Native American tribes in the Great Plains and Woodlands practiced the art of tattooing. Data Wolf said, When something is as widespread as it was back in the day, we have suspicions that it's deeply rooted in their history and being done for a very, very long time. He is certain that once archaeologists start looking for evidence of ancient tattoos, they will have plenty to find. Which simply means I'm excited for future discoveries. Oh, and for those wondering, yes, I do have some ink as well. Last November for my birthday, I gave myself a tiny cat tattoo on my right leg. But with that said, you've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, the end card hold some of my videos as well, and I'll always put links in the description down below. I'd also like to thank my patrons. I had a few new ones this week. Richard Barry, Scott, James, Floyd, Prabhu DC, and NGC6543. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.